Fine. Okay. Dano and Tina, hey, welcome to your new boat. This is a 2007 Four Winds Horizon 210. Let me take you, since you're not here when I'm dropping it off, I figured I'd make this quick video, just walk around and show you some of the features of the trailer and the boat and some things that, uh, yeah, you sh I thought you should know. So let's start right here in the front with the trailer with the hookup. Uh, you can hook it up right here and then this latch goes down to latch and then to remove, to uh, lift the latch back up, just press that and that comes up. This also has a safety pin, so when you're pulling it, you'd push that down and then put this in behind your ball. The other thing too is when you're, this has a feature that when you're reversing, it puts the brakes on. So you, what you wanna do is when you're backing up, you put the pin in here, uh, and that would prevent the brakes from coming on when you're backing up the trailer. So uh, when you're backing up, you put this pin in here and when you're trailing you put the pin right back here so this has the both connections for either a flat connection or the round connection you have both your uh, hooks here that uh, go up to your vehicle and then you also have your uh, safety hook here so those three connections also along the trailer, you'll you'll see a few grease fittings. This is for, this trailer has surge brakes. So when you stop, the momentum will actually engage the brakes on the trailer. Back here on the trailer, we have a, uh, a removable pin. You can pull this pin out here, and then this whole tongue will rotate like this. So if, you want to back the boat, say, into your garage, and you need the space for the garage door. This uh, tongue does easily swing back, so you can put it in a, in a garage and get it out of the weather. So that's the uh, foldable trailer uh, tongue. Then, of course, you have the, uh, the trailer jack here. That folds up, and then I usually... Uh, I have this bungee here to hold the handle so it doesn't whip around. To get the boat off the trailer, then we have a few different spots here. This is a safety ratchet. Lots of times I, I just put that on there so it doesn't bounce up, but it typically wouldn't anyways. Of course, you have your hitch there. Let's walk around the side of the trailer here, show you some other features. This is a dual axle trailer and all, all the wheels have bearing buddies. So you could just remove these rubber caps and uh, right underneath here, there's a grease fitting so you can easily grease your bearings. So you have all, all four of those. These are stainless wheels and the tires are actually brand new two years ago. Walking around to the back side of the boat, here when you're taking it off, you have these nice ratcheting straps here that hold your boat on. And to take, take these off, you just press this little side lever like that, and then you can remove the hook. And to put them back on, you just put, put the hook back on. There's a little lever on the back here, you just pull that, and it ratchets it up nice and tight. Putting this boat on the trailer is actually pretty easy. Uh, you can see down here there's a transducer for the uh, for the fish finder. That's about where it sits, right at that bunk. So we've had the boat many years, never knocked the transducer off, and it, it fits right there, just perfectly. Also on the back of the boat, since we're back here, you can see that uh, we have a Viper stainless steel prop. It's a three blade prop. Uh, the boat goes pretty fast with this prop, about uh, 50, 55 miles an hour. Uh, but it's a little slow out of the hole, like for pull, pulling skiers. If you want to be able to pull skiers and get them out of the hole a little bit quicker, you could go to a four blade prop. It'll probably take off some of your top speed. 
but it'll help you get out of the hole quicker. Also back here on the boat, this is the hookup for your uh, uh, ski rope. But obviously if you have wakeboarders, you have the wakeboard tower up there. You can put extra wakeboards over there on the left hand side. And uh, you can put the rope up there for the wakeboarders. That is a foldable wakeboard tower. So you remove a couple of bolts and the whole thing will fold back. It'll sit right back here on, on uh, this so uh, you can reduce the overall height. Also this comes with a bimini top and the bimini top does fit underneath that wakeboard tower. So you can have uh, your bimini top up and get out of the sun and still have your wakeboard tower up. All right, back here to the uh, back side of the boat. We have our uh, swim ladder. The swim ladder just folds out like this. So it's a nice long ladder so swimmers or skiers can get back up into the boat when they're in the water. Coming around this side of the boat. We have our uh, ship to shore radio antenna. Uh, I put a little piece of Velcro here because sometimes that vibrates and you don't want it to ruin the gel coat on the boat. So just snaps into this rubber grommet here. And this lever here, you can just flip it up and poof, you have your ship to shore radio. Further back up to the front of the boat here on the trailer, you have a spare tire, covered spare tire. I think that's about it on the outside of the boat. I'll, I'm going to climb in and uh, show you around on the inside. So we'll climb back, we'll climb up on the boat right from the swim ladder here. I always take my shoes off. So now that we're uh, in the boat here, a uh, few of the things you'll see uh, up front here, in the bow area, there's, uh, I'd say seating for about at least four up here that we've had. Uh, so plenty of seating, couple of cup holders. I had upgraded the speakers a few years ago. These are all Polk Audio speakers uh, for the stereo system. And also underneath each of these backrests here, there's uh, storage in here. And this is also where your amplifier for your sound system is located. So right in here. And then underneath this, these two side benches, you have some uh, storage for life jackets or whatever. Looks like we left you a couple life jackets right there. All right, let's go on this other side here. Just un also underneath this bench, you see uh, there's a spare anchor and a spare anchor rope in here. And uh, like I said too, underneath it in this front compartment, there's your main anchor down there. Uh, your anchor ropes and also there's a bag in here in this front cover for uh, these are just for your for your mooring ropes so you have uh, ropes to tie up when you go to the boat launch so you have have your ropes in there so let's head back uh, further into the boat So right, right here we have, uh, this is your uh, main window. You gotta walk through with a couple latches here. So say if you wanted to go out in the big lake and it's waving, you don't have people up front. We have a cover just for this front uh, open bow area. So like in the waves, you'd rather not have an open bow. If waves come over, you want them to shed. So you're gonna to wanna to have your bow cover on. But of course, if, if you have passengers up there, well, you're probably not out in big waves. And this also has a little strap with a 
snap that you can snap that up that way your uh, windshield when it's folded over like this isn't bouncing also back here kind of midship you have a storage locker under here you have some uh, boat fenders in there and then uh, also when uh, you and Tina are probably far out somewhere and you have some sort of a romantic boat trip and you run out of gas here's a uh, paddle so uh, Tina can paddle you back to shore and you can guide her so there's your emergency paddle also in here if uh, or for grabbing on what's that the hook for grabbing on oh yeah the dock. that's also a good uh, like a boat hook but I did leave you a boat hook in here so Avis, if you want to come around back here, and then I'll show this side. Um, underneath this uh, left rear seat, back here, this, your battery switches are in here, in this cupboard. This is a dual battery system. So way back here, you'll see that there's a uh, Perco red battery switch. It says one, two, or all. Usually when I'm out boating, I put it on all that way you have power from both batteries for starting and for say running the radio and everything else so you would turn that battery switch on and then over on this other side also underneath the seat on this side here I have an onboard battery charger uh, and I usually leave this plugged in uh, throughout the winter time or even in the summertime when you're not using it. Just leave this plugged in and it, it uh, trickle charges the batteries. Uh, your batteries will last a lot longer if you just keep that plugged in. Then while we're back here. I figured I'd show you uh, this is the engine compartment also in that with this engine compartment this is where your light is located back here in these uh, couple of grommets back here so when you're out after dark or in the evening low light right over here is your post so that way you're legal so you'll have your stern light and then your two bow lights your red and green bow light up there so that's where that goes then you'll see lots of hookups actually on the side of the boat these little black ones back here uh, these are for your Scotty downrigger holders or <laughs> downriggers uh, rod holders for fishing rods. So uh, if you do fish out of the boat, there's a couple of rod holders here that go right in those uh, Scotty holders. And then you see these pieces here, this on the side, this uh, other connection right here, this pin connection. And then there's a loop connection right up there towards the front by the windshield those three connections are for your bimini top then also yeah uh, in the front here you have a glove box uh, some looks like you have some paper towel and some some cups in there and then also under here there's another storage to put some other things down there uh, I've already gone gone through it and things that I keep keep in there is like there's another oil filter Here's another uh, spare belt Here's a little tool kit. You always want to have a tool kit on the boat 
these uh, Allen wrenches, you only need a couple of these, but these Allen wrenches are for your uh, foldable wakeboard tower. So right here is where you would uh, remove these couple bolts and the whole wakeboard tower will fold right back for uh, storage in, in a barn with uh, low overhead. If I show you the dash here, uh, this this uh, is your rear view mirror for watching skiers, etc. So that folds up, so you can while, while you're driving, you can see your your skiers or tubers or whoever you're pulling. Then also under here you have your hummingbird uh, fish finder. Uh, you have a horn, uh, blower, bilge pump couple other accessory uh, switches and your courtesy lights which light up the lights around inside the boat and of course your radio and also under the, the dash there's a wire that comes down so you can plug it into your phone and play your own music also on here you have your uh, lanyard that's now required by uh, Coast Guard it's supposed to be connected to you while you're out on the water running it's a kill switch and if you're ever out on the water and you're trying to turn the key and you don't know what's going on, check to make sure that your kill switch is actually all connected in here. Because if that's not on there, you're not starting the boat. Then, of course, you have the trim here for uh, lifting the motor up and down out of the water. Um, then also, right here if you push this button in on the main handle pull up that's that will run the engine without running uh without engaging the propeller so it, it's the the boat is in neutral but you can rev the engine if you want however I, i've never had to do it you never have to pump this one this one is turn the key and it uh fires up every single time what about that fan that you have to turn on the, yeah, before you go out every day or, uh, you know, when, once you put your boat in the water and it's sitting at the dock while you're uh, going and parking your trailer, I always run my blower uh, right here. You want to make sure to get all the uh, gas fumes out of the engine compartment. So just put your blower running before you ever start the engine. These seats uh, that you have here, these are actually custom seats. Uh, that have a, a bolster to give you a little bit higher higher view that you can sit on there plus you know there's uh, levers down below to adjust the height and they also swivel um, in the side here here is your uh, your boat hook down here so when you get to the dock and you're maybe coming in not exactly right you use that boat hook and pull yourself over closer to the dock also right here here's your bimini top it's kind of wedged in here but that goes up over the top then also here we have uh in this box here i never did install them but these are a couple of uh brand new uh, speakers that attach to your wakeboard tower so you can do that if you wish or you can sell them if you wish whatever uh, this big cover here this is another uh, uh, overall boat cover so this is what they call a storage cover uh, the other cover that you'll see that we'll put on right at the very end is a trailering cover that's made out of canvas this is a little bit different material it's a little bit lighter but this straps right down to your trailer and it's really for for more if you're going to just store it in your yard so you'd put the trailer cover on and then you put this over and this covers the entire boat uh and and uh trailer there's also uh, a few of these stands here uh, this goes back here to uh, prop your covers up to uh, 
make the rain shut off so you don't have rain setting, settling on your cover if, if uh, you're not uh, storing this in a building. And also this uh, blue bag here, your, uh, the title is in here. There's a spare key, spare boat key in here and all the manuals for everything. Um, so you should be have all the information you need and be good to go. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention, there is a fire extinguisher under there. So you do have a fire extinguisher. Um, I think that's about it. You have these nice little pockets here on the side to store stuff for uh, day boating. Of course, you have several drink holders uh, on each side. Um, I think that's about it. Nothing I didn't cover. Oh, when you when you start the boat, uh, typically what I would do is I would fire up the boat and get the boat running first before you turn on your fish finder. Your fish finder will give you your speed, water temperature, and it's color graded and all, all whatnot. You have all your uh, dash gauges and everything that you can see there. I think that's it. We'll go ahead and button this back up and when you're back from camping, you can uh, take out your new boat. Enjoy my boat. I hope you guys have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had we've had a lot of fun over the years with it, and now we're into just uh, we've got a little different style going with a little bit bigger boats, and you know our uh, our dinghy we can water ski and wakeboard with that. So enjoy your boat. Have a good time. See you later. <laughs>